the three different types of drive shaft vibrations. Well, if you've been watching my videos long enough now, you know that I try to help people diagnose stuff that typically I think a lot of other shops miss the mark on. And today we're going to talk about drive shaft vibrations, which are especially common on the 123, 126, uh, and 107 series cars. So I may have to do a second video on this stuff, but we're going to talk about the three or four different types of drive shaft vibrations in order, st well, starting with the most severe. The one that I find is the most annoying and frustrating and constant is the frozen drive shaft U joint. And this is especially common on 123 diesels. If your drive shaft U joint freezes, you're almost going to feel like a jackhammering throughout the center tunnel of the car as you accelerate. When you start to feel this noise, you're going to find that the vibration starts at around 20 and reaches its zenith at about 45 miles an hour. And it's almost going to feel like you're driving on the, uh, on the alertness strips in the side of the highway where your car goes, Go! The second one is the bad center bearing support. The bad center bearing support will manifest itself during acceleration, shaky gear shift lever, uh, possibly a vibration in the seat of your pants, or when they get really bad, the drive shaft knocking about inside the center tunnel between 15 and 25 miles an hour. Once the car gets moving, usually about 40 miles an hour, so you'll never feel the problem again. So it's going to be strictly low speed. The third one is the bad flex disc. The bad flex disc is going to manifest mostly under hard acceleration, and you're going to feel it all throughout the car's driving range. You're, you're going to have a vibration, a vibration off the line. You're going to have a vibration when you're accelerating hard, and you're going to have a vibration even at high speeds. This is a typical problem, especially on, on the W124, 126, and 201 series with six-cylinder gas engines. There's one more bonus vibration I'll talk about, and that's the transmission mount vibration. Even though it's not a real drive shaft vibration, it can cause some serious drive line vibrations. And you should always inspect the transmission mount because if it's bad, there will be serious shaking at low speeds and under hard acceleration, almost like a bad carrier bearing, but without the slapping around sound that you get. Anyway, for more information about drive shaft issues, where to get your drive shaft rebuilt, the different drive shafts and different Mercedes, and for advice about how to repair these problems, go ahead and, uh, and drop us a line or check us out on classicbinssos.com. We will help you if you need help. <laughs> Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe.